main issue you can work on when facing this issue is stamina. How not to get tired. The art of saving energy, of dissolving tensions. Check your string action. This should be as slow as possible without undesired noises. So, try to see, can I play as loud as possible without getting this Bartok pizzicato. This sound may be desirable in the world of jazz. But here in the classical music, it's a no-go. Look for thin strings. Disclaimer, this video is not being sponsored by Pirastro. Flexochord Deluxe and Original Flat Chrome. These other strings I'm actually using are thinner than Spirico Light or Bel Canto. In the orchestra, I do use indeed Bel Canto and Spirico because getting tired is not an issue. We basically play easy accompaniments <laughs> in the theater. It's more about the singers. So the sound quality of Tomastic is more important than the virtuosity. But when playing auditions, we have to be able to master Titastov and Kusevitsky or Potosini or Banyal. And afterwards, there are five very tiring orchestral excerpts. So with the thickness of Bel Canto, I'm dead after Kusevitsky, especially after the double stops. That's why I prefer Pirastro original flat crumb, even if the sound is a tiny bit less pleasant than Bel Canto. This is just an opinion on strings. I haven't tried the Dario or Corelli yet, so they might be better. Who knows? Beside the strings and your setup, your string action can be high and your bass might be making ugly noises anyway. That's because your fingerboard has to be fixed. And this is something you can't do by yourself. You have to go to a luthier because fixing a fingerboard is a piece of art for itself. It's not a simple task. The fingerboard should have actually some sort of curve because the amplitude of the vibrating string is higher in the middle of it. So here the string needs more space to vibrate than in the first position or close to the bridge. The next issue would be the question, should I stand or sit? When I started playing double bass 20 years ago, we didn't have in Chile good stools. Tall people could sit on bar stools without any problem, but I had to stand for many, many years. And being young, that's not a problem. But when you become older, your body changes and you could harm yourself seriously if you're standing in a unhealthy position. Of course, if you sit wrong, this can also be bad for you. But here's the thing. In 2024, we have many stools and they're becoming great with time. I'm actually sitting on a double trolley a stool design and made in Sweden. Unfortunately, this continued. So which stools should we use today? And again, this video is not being sponsored. K&M has a solid stool, but it's too heavy. This is a serious issue for me because I'm small, I have to carry the base, and the stool has to be as light as possible. Another issue with K&M is the stool makes some noises. Your stool has to be quiet. Because in auditions, I've heard of people criticizing not how the bass player actually played. They criticize other things, what he's doing with his face, or if the stool is making noises. So don't give the jurors any chance to not let you pass. The stool, I believe, is good worth for its money, is gravity. They have a nice, inexpensive stool. Give it a try because it has been the best lightest and quietest stool I've tried. Last but not least, how to save energy with an active finger dropping. Imagine you're playing for the piano. We press down a key and in the moment the key went down and the hammer went up, any weight you apply with your finger makes no difference in the sound. So we need something like this for the bass. Active fast attack 
and immediate release. The finger cannot be lazy. And the second thing is do not lift your fingers up. Move them in a way to the side. There's a famous teacher in Bavaria who made this exercise famous. play it better than Dominic Wagner, who you probably know, explains thoroughly this exercise on the website named String Virtuoso. Again, I'm not being sponsored, neither by Dominic nor String Virtuoso, but I like the way he approaches this etude or exercise. Have a look at it. As a conclusion, playing the double bass is not just about sound and intonation in music, also how to be healthy and stay healthy for a long time. For 40 or 50 years of our lives, we will spend on this marvelous giant. Many thanks for listening and see you next time. <laughs>